Hey guys, check this out. We have just received the new Jurassic Park 30th Anniversary Influencer Kit from Toy Monster. This is the Captive Collection, the latest ones. Okay, I'm super excited. Let's get right into it, guys. Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to the basement Dino Dungeon. Yes, today I'm super excited because we will be reviewing this brand new set right here, okay? We are going to do comparison with all the captive collection dinosaurs in our entire shelf, okay? As well as some of the Jurassic Park dinosaurs, okay? The bigger ones for comparison, okay? But before we get started, let's open this box up to check out what's inside. Let's go, guys. All right, guys, let's take a look at this beautiful box. Jurassic Park 30th Anniversary. The box is slightly damaged, but I think it still looks very, very good, especially when it comes to the illustrations, which has a vintage kind of look and feel. Captive, good and battle, dinos. Okay, so in case that you guys do not know, Jurassic Park started back in 1993, and it has been like 30 years. So this is like a... Um, you know, a set to sort of like pay tribute to the entire Jurassic Park franchise. So I'm gonna use a box cutter to cut this open. I mean, just be really careful if you are a kid and you're using um, a box cutter. I mean, have your parents to help you instead. But of course, if you are an adult like myself, just be extra careful, okay? Uh, let me open this up as well. Okay, just give me a second. There's someone at the door. My dog is barking. Okay guys, I'm back. There was some delivery at my door, so I'm very happy because we have plenty of packages. Okay, so let's open this up, okay? So let's have a look at this. What's inside? I'm actually super excited. Wow, it looks awesome, guys. It looks crazy nice, okay? So check this out. Jurassic Park 30th Anniversary Captive Built and Battle Dinos. It's a postcard. To Dan's surprise, thank you for being such a loyal Jurassic Park fan. We hope you enjoy this trip back in time to the original Jurassic Park movies through our JP 30th Anniversary Captive Eggs. Happy hunting, the captive team. Thank you so much for sending us this. This is an awesome, awesome gift. Oh my goodness, check this out guys. There is a um, mini egg right here, a surprise egg. Oh, I don't think there is a big one, but it's okay. I've actually purchased a big one on my own and hopefully it will arrive soon. This is basically the medium-sized egg, which is known as the surprise egg. Jurassic Park 30th anniversary. It looks really, really good. And of course, they have given us a couple of small ones. As you guys can see, these are like the smaller ones. So let's see how many of these eggs we've got. Let's check this out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And of course, this small, uh, not small, medium sized one, okay? Let's see whether there are any other items inside. I really love this box, so 100% I'm gonna keep this box. All right, really nice. So I think it's time for us to open one. Once we've opened one, we will know what are the dinosaurs that we'll be getting and then we'll head over to level 2 Jurassic World Balance to pick up the different dinosaurs for comparison. Okay, so let's do this guys. Alright guys, so let's open one of these first because we need to pick up the different dinosaurs for comparison. So let's have a look at this. So this time it is a golden egg as you guys can see as compared to the previous ones which was like blue and um black and also um, I can't remember what was the other color um so let's open this up okay <laughs> all right so I think it's gonna be slightly tough sometimes it depends on your skill level I'm pretty bad at opening this kind of um, plastic film but you can see I'm opening this in a perfect way all right Okay, it broke at the end, but it's fine. Let's do this. Okay, I'm gonna keep this plastic film because I need to take like nice thumbnail later on. All right, I'm pretty excited. Let's pop this open. So there are two packs inside for sure. And um, let's see, let's take a look at the slime first. This time, I'm pretty sure the slime is not, uh, not as sticky or as messy as the previous. The very first edition was kind of like messy, 
The second wave was like awesome. The blue metallic slime was super awesome. This time I'm thinking it should be like orange amber color. Yes, I think so. Um, the slime is is okay. It's kind of sticky, but I think it's manageable, and it's nicely packed into a different pack. So it's definitely okay for me at least. All right, it's it's kind of sticky, guys. <laughs> it's kind of sticky. All right, very cool. Let me just put this aside first, and let's open this back up. Okay, so let's open this up. Even the packaging looks really good, JP. This is basically the vintage Jurassic Park logo. So I'm just gonna cut this open. I'm gonna keep the pack, so I'm trying to cut it as neat as possible. Okay. Or um, there's a cut inside, so you have to be really careful not to cut the cut inside as well. So let's have a look. So it comes with a mini cut. Wow, this one is looking good. Let's have a closer look later on. Wow. I think we are pretty lucky. We've basically got the metallic one on our first attempt. So rare. So this is the rare one. We've basically got the rare one on first try, guys. I'm pretty excited about this. So let's have a look at this. This is basically the baby Velociraptor during the scene where it's like, um, you know, Dr. Alan Grant and um, John Hammond were looking at this hatchling. Very cool. Looks really, really good, I would say. Just let me, you can see the very nice Jurassic Park logo right here. The hatchling just coming out from the egg. Very nice, okay. Just gonna put this one right here. This is the um, packaging, just gonna put this aside. And of course, it comes with this checklist. Baby Velociraptor metallic version. Intelligence, of course, is like 10. Triceratops, okay, we're gonna get Triceratops, we're gonna get Dilophosaurus, we're gonna get Brachiosaurus, Velociraptor, Tyrannosaurus, Rex, Gallimimus, of course, Parasaurolophus, and of course, Baby Velociraptor. What about the other side? I think there are like 18 to collect, but why is there only two, four, six, eight, nine, nine on the checklist only? This is weird. Okay, maybe let's open up all of them before we do comparison, um, you know, with the minifigures previously as well as the um, Jurassic Park figures. Shall we do that? Okay, let's take a look at this card. If cute, could cue. Yeah, of course, they are very, very adorable, but of course, they are pretty ferocious and deadly as well. Baby Velociraptor Metallic. This is really nice. I even brought my cut, cut sleeve, you know, but it seems like these cut sleeves are actually too big for the, the cards, but I think it's fine. We can still insert them into an album later on, okay? So, yeah, I'm just gonna protect this card. Um, to my best of ability, okay? So let's move on and open up the other one, guys. I'm actually super, super excited about these figures. Hopefully, we'll get no repeats, hopefully. Okay, just trying my best to open this up as nice as possible. It's not easy, guys. Okay, let's do this. Okay, I think the trick is to be fast. Let's have a look at this. Okay, this one is tougher. I'm gonna put the slime away. Let's not waste the slime. And I'll just pop this right back. Okay, pop the plastic film back as well. I want them to look good. Okay, let's open this up. We can have a little sneak peek right here. If cute could queue again, oh my goodness, we I think we got the same one. Yes, I think we got the same one. Probably the non-metallic version. Okay, let me just cut from this side. Maybe I shouldn't have done a sneak peek. Okay, let's check this out. I think it should be the same. I'm just really, really, um, doubles. If you tie the opponent, okay, basically you can use this um, figures for battles, of course. All right, let's put this aside. I think this one we are getting um, the other baby Velociraptor, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, that's right. This is the uh, non-metallic version. 
So let me see. So I think the card is the same. Of course, there's no indication that. Oh, they're different. Nice. Very nice. Okay, let's get this one out. This is basically the non metallic baby velociraptor. As you guys can see, it's kind of cool. The paint work is very, very nice. You can see the, the paint scheme is actually printed. And there's a lot, lots of detailing done on the um, eggshell as well. You can even find like the tongue is nicely crafted, the teeth are nicely crafted. So very, very awesome. I just can't wait to um, receive the remaining figures. So let's get the card sleeve out as well. Let's pop in the card. This uh, micro card, I call this. So, so far we have two really beautiful ones as you guys can see. Metallic Velociraptor uh, versus the uh, non-metallic one. Okay, let me just put them right here. And you can see this card's design, they are vintage looking. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, shall we open the bigger one? I'm actually very excited about this one as well. So let's have a look. So you can see this is actually known as a lenticular kind of um, hologram. So if you flip it in different angles, you'll be able to see the Velociraptor eye closing and opening. So there's one Super Dino inside. There's a collector's card. There's a collector's guide. There's some compounds and some stickers. Very, very nice. Okay, so let's open this. I'm gonna open this as gently as possible. Okay. Because I want to keep the plastic film Hopefully my country will be able to um, get this eggs um, soon. Okay, I'm just gonna use our box cutter to cut like a little slit right here, okay? So, I mean, if you are a kid, just do not imitate me. I don't want you to cut yourself because I have parents sending me DMs telling me don't do this because it's dangerous and the kids will, will copy will imitate me, so I want you guys to be like really, really careful. Captive collection, you can see this egg um, looks really nice. I'm gonna fetch the um, smaller one. Just give me a second, the previous version. This is the previous Jurassic World Dominion version, as you guys can see the, uh, the size is actually the same. Yep, exactly the same in terms of the, the sculpt, just with a different color scheme. So let's pop this open guys, let's have a look at this. So it comes with a piece of sticker. Okay, so it's a Brachiosaurus. It has a Jurassic Park cap, mosquito in the ambo. The very nice scene with the Brachiosaurus. Life finds a way. Jurassic Park 30th anniversary. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. It comes with the kinetic sand, prehistoric sand. Wow, this card is awesome! Tyrannosaurus Rex Terror. So I think we have received the T-Rex if I'm not wrong. So let's put this card, hopefully it fits. Okay, let's have a look at this. Wow, it looks really good. So this is basically, um, you know, the scene where the T-Rex was chasing after um, the Ford Explorer. And this is um, the reflection of the T-Rex in the side mirror. Yep, so Tyrannosaurus Rex, awesome. Killer rating is really really high i think is like the maximum intelligence is really high as well and it fits perfectly oh my goodness this is awesome and i'm gonna get more of these eggs for sure guys let's have a look at this um, little checklist right here so super sized exclusive um there are let's have a look let's have a look at how many of this are we getting so we have the triceratops the spinosaurus as well as the tyrannosaurus rex so I, I got to collect them all guys so if i get a chance i would definitely purchase um more of this surprise eggs right here the medium sized one so it's time for us to have a look at this guys all right so let's open this up first the kinetic sand. So let's see what's inside. 
It's gonna be different parts of um the Tyrannosaurus Rex for sure. Okay. We've got the T-Rex head right here. Nice. Okay, so the T-Rex head is right here. So let's open the other one up, okay? Okay, so we've got one item out. Let me put this um, in this egg first. Let's open this Ember Gel. So this is actually very similar to the, um, the previous surprise egg, okay? So I think they should have a Mega Egg as well. So hopefully we can get the Mega Egg in future on our own, of course. All right, let's um, have a look at this. So this is basically the tail, guys. The tail of the Tyrannosaurus Rex. So we're gonna clean all of this up later on and um, assemble it as well. So you can see my hands are slightly dirty. Okay, so it's time for us to open this blue metallic slime. It's basically the body, I would say. The body of the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Very, very cool slime as you guys can see. This blue slime, I, I like the blue slime the most. Yep, the blue slime is the best. It is not as sticky. You can see it doesn't stick to my hands at all. And the colors are simply beautiful. So, captive collection, Toy Monster. If you're watching this, just want to feedback that the material, the ingredients that you're using for the blue slime is top notch. I love it. And you can see, it doesn't stick to my hands at all. Really love the blue slime. All right, so let's move Let's head over to our kitchen. We have to clean this up and um, assemble this together. Let's go. Okay guys, so now I am in my bathroom. So we're gonna clean this up right now, okay? So we're gonna rinse this figure so that we can actually assemble them. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the Dino Dungeon. All right, guys, let's head back to the Dino Dungeon. Let me place this on the table. So let's assemble this. Okay, guys, let's assemble the Tyrannosaurus Rex. I think they have done a really fantastic job in terms of the sculpt, as well as um, the paint scheme and the detailing. I really love this, you know, bigger figures from Captive Collection. I'm gonna show you guys like the other ones that we have from the previous um, series, okay? So this is basically Rexy. You guys should be extremely familiar with um, her. Um, you can see it has the very nice stripes across the body and it can, it can stand. Can it stand? I hope she can stand. Because I think the, the legs are actually wop when it's placed um, in the slime and the kinetic sand. So yep, I think it's still able to stand quite decently, which is um, awesome. So really, really fantastic figure. I really love this figure so much. Hopefully we will be able to get um, the Spinosaurus as well um, and the Triceratops. Okay, so let's carry on. Let's move on and um, take a look at other figures, okay? So let's open up another one. Let me place everything as neatly as possible. Let's have a look at this. Captive, build and battle, dino, so 18 to collect. I'm quite interested to see what are the other like 10 figures that, that are, are actually not in the checklist. So let's try to open this up. I'm gonna go fast like this. Oops, that didn't work. So I'll just rip this open, guys. Right, let's have a look. So let's get the slime away. Hopefully we don't get another Velociraptor, please. Just pop this right back. Okay, this time I'm not going to take a sneak peek. I'm just gonna cut the, you know, the pack open directly. I think we've got a Dilophosaurus. I saw a glimpse of the frill. So you guys can see, wow. Okay, this one, it's kind of um, familiar because it is quite similar to the previous series Dilophosaurus, which is, which is awesome as well. So let's get the tail out. This plastic, we can throw it away. I mean, let's recycle it. Let's pop in the tail. 
it looks i think it looks it looks kind of different but of course we will have to get the previous dilophosaurus to do a comparison later on but very nice you can see the color scheme is um very cool comes with a very um kind of like down to earth kind of um beach color and really love the black patterns on this um, dilophosaurus i don't think it's easy for the dilophosaurus to stand so that's a trick to actually standing these figures you can bend the tail to a certain angle and have it lean it against um the tail like this that's how i usually um try to balance some of the figures which have some stability problem so this actually works quite well i'm um, just gonna have a look at this leaflet again because i want to see like what are the other 18 18 figures hmm. kind of confused so here's another one the lophosaurus with a killer rating of six intelligence of four and of course you can find the height and weight right here this card is um quite badly warped but I think it's fine. You can actually stick this card like, you know, in between like a really thick book, like a dictionary. I, I'm not too sure whether you guys still have dictionary nowadays. I mean, back in my days, we used to have like dictionary, those kind of like thick books or a telephone book. If there is any right now, <laughs> I'm not too sure. All right, let's have a look at this next one. Um, yep. Opening this is always kind of challenging. But of course, this is because I want to keep the plastic wrapper, you know, as nice as possible. I'm just going to cut like a little slit right here. Maybe right here. Okay, I mean, just be really careful. Do not do this at home. Okay. Oh. Okay, I didn't cut this part properly, so there we go. Let's get this out. Slime aside. Close this egg. Shell. Pop the plastic film back. Place it aside. And let's cut this open. I don't want to take like a quick glance but you guys are like showing me because the pack is actually very translucent. Cut this open. So what have we got? Nice! Brachiosaurus! Oh, but we already have the Brachiosaurus in the previous series, so I shouldn't be that excited. But of course, it's nice to have a different figure. So the leaflet, just gonna put the leaflet aside. Brachiosaurus. Let's pop this in. This Brachiosaurus definitely does look slightly different from the previous Brachiosaurus. It looks so much better, I feel. Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely a different Brachiosaurus. This is way, way, way better. So far, this is my most favorite one of the ones that we have opened. Of course, this T-Rex looks fantastic. You know, I hope to make this T-Rex slightly more stable. Maybe let's try to uh, balance it against its tail as well, like this. Yeah, have no choice. Okay, so this is the Brachiosaurus. Let's have a look at this. Killer rating of 5 and intelligence of 4. 41 feet tall and weighs 100, 124,000 pounds. That is super, super heavy, guys. Let's get the cut sleeve out. Pop it right in. Really love this card, so really well done, you know, Toy Monster for coming up with this cards. They are just simply awesome. Okay, next up, let's open another one of these. Just gonna cut a slit right here. Be really, really careful. Do not do this at home. This is done by a professional unboxer, so do not try this at home. Pop this back in. They look like new figures, right? Okay. 
Okay. Let's open this pack. Leaflet, let's put this aside. Wow. Paris Rollifer's Dinner Time. Nice. And you can see there's like a staff right here feeding the Paris Rollifer's. And this illustration is just simply beautiful. I mean, if you take a look at this, this is really awesome as well. So I think they have like, you know, um, really done well with the illustrations. I'm not too sure who actually did the illustrations, but it's just simply awesome. This is a really, really nice touch, I would say, like the 30th anniversary um, series. It's very, very incredible. Let's have a look at this. Well, the Paris Roller First, we also have a Paris Roller First from the previous series, but this one is definitely one with a different paint scheme. You can see uh, the body is in green. It has very nice patterns across, some nice stripes across the body. Very nicely painted when it comes to the um, facial areas. There are like a tint of orange. The crest is painted with brown. Very nice. And of course, every figure will come with a nice Jurassic Park logo. So, so far we have two herbivores and three different carnivores. Hopefully we, we are able to get different ones from the rest. So let's open this up. So once again, do not try this at home. Let's see. Did we manage to cut it nicely? I think so. I think it's okay because we have quite a number of um, the eggs over there. So I think it's okay to sort of like rip some of them. Slime, the side, and the mini pack. This one definitely seems to be a different one as well. I'm just trying to push the contents down so that we are able to um, open this more easily. I think many of you guys will ask, why don't I just tear from here? Because that will leave a very, very, you know, untidy cut, I would say. Triceratops. This is definitely a new sculpt. I don't remember the previous Triceratops looking so good. The leaflet, the side. And here's the card. Let's have a look at this card. Triceratops, beautiful. Six killer rating, intelligence of four. Weighs 10,000 kilograms. Triceratops family time. You can see a herd of Triceratops. There's like a mom, there's like a dad, and there's a baby over there as well. Very cool. Let's, let's pop this card into the um, card sleeve. Very nice, guys. This Triceratops is different. It's a very different one from the previous one. The previous one is definitely not as highly detailed as this figure, for sure. Wow, it's really tight, guys. I have no idea why. Okay, I can't seem to like push it fully in. Maybe because I'm weak. Okay. You have to like really, really force it in, guys. Use all the strength that you have. Twist it right in. And um, yeah, I use plenty of strength, guys. And now for the hit. Okay, cool. Yep, we are done. This Triceratops has got to be the most detailed one. It's way more detailed than um, all the other figures. The Brachiosaurus is also fantastic. So I think they have concentrated, they have um, put a lot of focus on um, the iconic dinosaurs such as the Triceratops as well as the Brachiosaurus. So fantastic figure guys. Really, really beautiful, really well done. They've even put like the logo like be beneath the body so that it's not too um, distracting. Beautiful. This Triceratops, I think I'm giving this like 9, 9.5 out of 10. It's really, really so beautiful. Really well done. Okay, let's have a look at this. Um, all right, let's open this. Some Same way as well. Let's 
slime aside. Pop the egg back in. The old sleeve. Awesome stuff. This, I think, should be a different figure as well. Okay. The leaflet. The leaflet is also beautifully designed, I would say. T-Rex, yes! Okay, so we've got the bigger version right here, guys. The bigger version, Tyrannosaurus Rex Terror. So this is the smaller version, but of course, um, the information at the back is the same. Let me just put this card into the sleeve. And the Tyrannosaurus Rex! The T-Rex is also a different sculpt, so I'm very, very happy, very impressed. Yep, I think it's a different sculpt. This one is really more movie accurate, I would say, than the previous versions. Really well done. Um, yeah, I think in terms of detailing, this is also excellent. Can it stand? It's gonna be tricky for um, the carnivores because the legs are actually very small so it's not easy for them to stand well. Yep, so so far I think these three they are like brand new scops. Really beautiful. Oh my goodness, I'm, I'm just super impressed. I will display all of the 30th anniversary as a set. I won't be you know displaying the T-Rex with the other versions of the T-Rex so yeah, I'll be displaying them in a set. Okay. Let's open our remaining two figures. Okay, just be really careful once again. Do not try this at home. Okay, do not try this at home. I repeat. Slime aside. Pop the eggshell back in. The plastic film back in shake it a few times cut this open let's get the sleeve out Gallimimers, racing with the Gallimimers. You can see a herd of Gallimimers running across the field with um, a vehicle on the side. Gallimimers, a killer rating of 4 and an intelligence of 6, 3 meters tall and weighs 450 kilograms. You know, in Jurassic World Facts app, they always put like, you know, it weighs the weight of like 2 dogs three cats and stuff like that. I mean, how is that even possible? <laughs> so this is definitely more accurate. Okay, this Gallimimers, it's a new species. It's a new species. Captive Collection has never done a Gallimimers. So this is the first Gallimimers. So awesome, beautiful, magnificent. They are just simply out of the world, guys. This Gallimimers is so, so, so beautifully done, I would say. Very, very, very beautiful. Wow. I think this is the best figure. I'm not too sure. The Triceratops is awesome. The T-Rex is awesome. I don't think the Gallimimers is able to stand. There's no way it can stand, guys. There's no way. <laughs> yeah, there's no way. So, how are we going to display the Gallimimers? It's going to be tricky. So, yeah. I think, you know, you, you can complain about them because they are actually using the, um... I suppose they are using the 3D rendering file from the movies. So the feet, they are movie accurate, they are very accurate, which is why it's um, kind of um, small when it comes for comes to a figure. So it's not easy for them to be standing. So we have to lean it against the wall, I, I think. Okay, let's pop in this egg right here. I'm uh, not egg. This cut into the cut sleeve. And our last one. 
We're not done with the video yet, okay? Because I need to show you guys like the um, other medium-sized figures as well as um, our captive collection in our shelf. I'll show you guys where we are going to display them. So, very exciting. Yep. Yep, the bad way about opening this egg in this way is that you may get a cut on the egg, which I'm, um, you know, fine with it. So, here's the slime. Here's the pack. Pop the egg back in. This one is a bit more challenging. Okay, our last one, guys. Pretty sad because there are like 18 to collect and we only have like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 of them. So we still have 9 more to collect, guys. Um, and they're not available in my country yet. So we have to find them on our own, maybe online. What have we got? Velociraptors on the loose, okay? So the previous one was Velociraptor, uh, if cute, Q. Yep, very nice. So you can see the rating for the uh, Velociraptors is crazy. The intelligence is like maximum. 227 kilograms. So how can a Velociraptor weigh the weight of like Two cats is not possible, right? So Jurassic World Facts app, you're giving us like really really weird kind of um weight. So the Velociraptor is definitely different different for sure. Just pop it right in. Yep, the sculpt for the new figures are just simply awesome. Beautiful. Let's have a look at this. Like, which one are we missing? Why are there like 18 to collect? So, we've definitely got all of them here. Maybe there's a second wave. Maybe there's a second wave coming out. Yeah, maybe there's a second wave, which is why uh, I think so. There's a second wave probably. Because we've basically got um, all 9 here. So, maybe the other 9 are in the second wave. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. Yeah, so yeah, really really thankful for you know Toy Monster for sending us all of this this influencer kit. It's it's just simply beautiful. I, I love it. So yep, very thankful. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is that I'm gonna show you bring you guys to level 2 Jurassic World Midlands and the mini shelves to check out the different captive arm collection figures from the previous series. So let's go. Okay guys, let's um, head over to Level 2 Jurassic World Midlands as well as our mini shelf to do some comparison. So let's go guys. Alright, welcome to Level 2 Jurassic World Midlands guys. Okay, so this is basically the little space when keeping the uh, medium sized, the large sized captive dinosaur. So let me show you guys a quick look. Okay guys, have a look at this. This was the previous Pyroraptor. So we also have the uh, mechanical arm Baryonyx. I think this was uh, the very first one. Um, this is the um, Jurassic World Dominion Edition. Basically, we have two Gigars. So now we have the T-Rex, which is um, from the 30th anniversary. So we'll definitely be displaying the T-Rex right here, guys, because there's no other space. So I'll, I'll probably put, I, I like to display my figures according to their sizes. So Gigar will be the first one, followed by Tyrannosaurus Rex, um, Baryonyx, then the Pyroraptor. Okay, I, yeah, I think, yeah. So these are basically the medium-sized captive figures, all right? Okay, and it's now time for us to head over to the uh, mini shelves. So I'm gonna show you guys um, my mini shelves. We have two mini shelves in case that you guys are like first timer here. So this is our basically our mini shelf where we display some of the uh, Funko Pop figures, the Mattel minis, Snap Squad, and this mini shelf right here. Okay, let me just zoom up a little bit so that you guys can have a better look. So this is basically my captive collection. 
I love the captive collection to be honest with you I think they are like super well done um, they are my most favorite minifigures of all time to be honest with you so let me show you guys like the Brachiosaurus do we have a Brachiosaurus? I, I think so okay let's compare um, the Brachiosaurus okay I think I made a mistake so I think in terms of the sculpt it's using the same sculpt but the paint work is definitely um, different okay so that's the Brachiosaurus for the Raptors, 100% um, is a different sculpt. You can see the arms, the position of the arms are actually very, very different. You know, I apologize for the, the bad lighting right here because you can see it's actually quite dark. But definitely, you can see, okay, the Raptor is using a, a different sculpt. Okay, Parasaurolophus, which is right here, so you can see it is um, the same sculpt as well. So right now, I have a problem. So do you guys feel that I should be displaying, you know, the figures according to the species or should I display, you know, this as a 30th anniversary set? I want you guys to comment it down below. And I mean, if you take a look at this, we are clearly running out of space. We need like a new mini shelf right over there. Yeah, uh, we can probably do that. We can probably do that. For the Triceratops, seems like I have also made a mistake, so it's the same sculpt as well, but you know, it doesn't uh, detract the fact that this Triceratops figure is really really well done. The Lothosaurus, I'm pretty sure it's um, the same one. You can see it's look, it looks exactly the same as the previous two the Lothosaurus. This Velocitor, Velocitor, Velociter, what am I talking about? Velociraptor hatchling. It's definitely a new sculpt. You don't find any um, hatchlings right over here. And but it reminds me of this. This is actually from Takara Tomi Art. So it's also a um, Jurassic Park tribute. So they have um, similarities, but of course they are two totally different figures from different brands. The T-Rex is 110 percent, 200, 300, 500 percent different. You can see these are the previous Tyrannosaurus Rex, um, you know, figures, and this one is the latest one. Yeah, this the latest one is awesome. It's simply beautiful. So really, really well done, Toy Monster. I love this figure. I'm hoping to get another one which can um probably stand a bit more stable, you know, with more stability. Gally Mimers, I think it's probably the best figure of the entire lot in terms of the sculpt. It's so well done, it's unbelievable. Like, how did you guys like get this Gally Mimers to be such awesome in terms of the sculpt, in terms of the detailing? It's simply amazing. Really well done, guys. All right, guys, so we are finally done with the unboxing and the comparison. Hopefully, you know, you guys actually enjoyed this video. And uh, right now, we are just standing in between Jurassic World Midlands as well as the Mii Chefs. Okay, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And of course, I want you guys to help me out. Should we display them by species or should we display the 30th anniversary as a set on its own? Comment down below, of course, displaying it on its own will be much easier for me. All I need to do is to, um, you know, rearrange this section and we have a space right here. And of course, our, you know, our next problem is that we are running out of space. We, we should probably install another mini shelf here, most likely, okay? So, thanks for watching this. I will see you guys in the next one. I'm heading back to the Dino Dungeon to uh, clean the mess up and of course to take like a nice thumbnail photo okay thanks for watching this i'm dan i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye